Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we are meeting with a friend from Canada, Mark Cox, and he has uh, something to his credit that I greatly admire. He has done a $1 billion deal. Welcome, Mark. Oh, thank you, Gerhard. It's so great to be here. And as I've mentioned before, I've been a fan of yours for more than 20 years. How did you get started? Well, back in 2013, Gerhard, I was, I'd been running some larger um, technology and outsourcing sales organizations and frankly believed that's what I was going to continue doing. I was looking for my next adventure. And in the interim, a couple of smaller mid-sized organizations, 60-person SaaS company, services business, another technology company came and asked for some help. And the help involved getting in, taking a look at their sales program, making recommendations on what they should do to elevate performance, almost as an outsourced VP of sales, which is what I was going to do in my next corporate adventure. And, you know, I had this epiphany as I was going through the process that I just loved it. And working with these companies that saw the value in sales as a discipline, they were nimble enough to, to first of all, big enough to invest in their teams but nimble enough to take counsel and direction and act on it. It was so rewarding. And that was the early days of In the Funnel. And we, we started doing sales enablement consulting, assessing the go-to-market plan of a company, making recommendations on how to dramatically improve sales performance. And then along the lines, we started building programs to train the sales leaders and the salespeople and the business development reps. That's how we got into this. And we, we absolutely love working with growth-oriented sales leaders and growth-oriented salespeople. So Mark, would it be safe to say that in order to achieve dramatic improvements in a sales organization, you have to remove some of the drama that exists that is not productive? I think a lot of the drama comes when we don't have formal processes and methodologies for assessing how we're doing from a strategic perspective or assessing where we are in our sales process and how we keep moving forward. So, so lack of process and methodology, you know, turns our sales pursuits into the series of kind of unrelated events. And we're being very reactive to everything. We can't be proactive. We're reactive, not proactive. So, so that's why I think it's absolutely critical as an organization to, to align on your sales process. What are the steps to complete a sale for your business? You know, large, medium, or small deals. And what are the tenants of your strategy? We have a, a tool we use to build sales strategy, first of all, to assess how we're doing and create next steps. If you've got some the team aligned on these things, then we can all assess where we're at and how we improve our positioning strategically. We can all assess where we're at in our process and how we get micro commitments to continue on. So process and methodology really matters. You know, at the end of the day, we, we like formulas because formulas are best practices. So you're obviously uh, very comfortable with complex sales situations. Uh, and uh, you uh, did a billion dollar deal uh, with a bank, uh, with, with a team of people. Can you walk me through um, how do you close a billion dollar sale and uh, what have you learned from it? I really think it comes down to understanding the, the key buyers. You know, um, Miller Hyman had it right. Well done, gang, 30 years ago. Multiple people are going to influence the uh, the decision, you need to navigate that organization. You need to understand who's got the influence, what's important to them, and how you get them to that better future. Okay, That's what makes it um, uh, something that they're tied to emotionally. So you have to address those folks, whether it's a massive deal or a smaller deal, understand who influences the decision, guide them to the better future, and stay close because their decisions and the team doing it and everything changes. It's always in a state of flux. I, I had a background selling to very, very large banks and managing large client relationships. And they have very big groups of folks who decide on things. So you're in a lot of meetings 
you know, you, you talked about drama. You're in a lot of meetings with 12 people in a room, but only five or six of them have any degree of influence. So you're trying to figure out who are they? How do we find out what they need? How do we help them? And that better future, by the way, sometimes they don't know what it is. You know, you've got to have that point of view because you understand them, their business, their challenges. You need that point of view on how to get them there. So now you can uh, help organizations um, plan, uh, solidify the vision, execute uh, flawlessly and uh, enable the people in the process. And, and we do that, by the way, two ways. We'll come in and take a look at their whole sales program and make recommendations on what they should do within the next 90 days. We call that a discovery. And in some ways you might look at it as kind of an SVP of sales coming into a new organization and coming up with their plan after hundred days. We do it in 30 days because we've done it so much, so many times. So we've, we've done this 80 or 90 times for, for our target market. And then the second way we're, we're enabling salespeople to first of all, understand the core basics of a sales playbook and then trigger growth orientation so they continue that learning process. So if somebody wants to have a dramatic improvement in their sales organization, where can they find you? They can find us at www.inthefunnel.com. They can follow me, Mark Cox, on LinkedIn. And we'd love to have them in our weekly webinars where instead of it being a marketing webinar, we actually run a one hour coaching workshop on different topics where we guarantee them that we'll teach them one new concept with one new tool in every workshop each week. And these are free to anybody who wants to continue their learning, Gerhard. That's how they get exposed to a little bit of how we do things. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mark, for the offer. And also thank you for sharing the insights. <music>